that make this a somewhat dangerous situation. It's good that there are some folks around there up there that began recording when they started challenging my recording. Um, but to be honest, I don't really know anybody here. Um, it seems like a friendly crowd, but um, when the, there's multiple federal agents, multiple around you, that's why I've got two cameras telling you you can't do something and you are t like on their turf, you do have to be very concerned. Um, they could have grabbed me and thrown me in that room pretty quickly if they had just rushed me. Um, and of course nobody can record that, nobody can see that. Well, some people could see it if they're in the lobby, but if it's out of eyesight, it, it's not allowed to be seen, so to speak, even if it is within eyesight in the sense that it can't be recorded. So those guys are now talking to those uh, Homeland Security officers, I believe they are. I have not seen any conquered police out here. It seems to be all federal. A number of Homeland Security as well as private security for the courthouse. Something I've always found a little strange. I believe the courthouse has hired private security. Um, but the man who came out, out of the building and told me I wasn't allowed to film looking through the window, not even up against the window. Not, he wasn't saying I couldn't touch the window. He was saying I couldn't look through the window. Though I guess he didn't really say much of anything because he instructed the other guy to tell me I couldn't do that. And I kept trying to ask him, like, well, what is that? What is it we can't do? Um, and he wasn't saying I couldn't film outside. He wasn't saying I couldn't be outside. But he was insinuating that I could not film looking through the window. And that's rather ridiculous. That's what a window is. If they don't want light to be allowed through, then they should probably block it off. And um, that would be indicative of the types of people that operate in this building. I mean, look at it. It's a giant granite and marble castle. It's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't go at all with the architecture of the city. And what goes on behind these doors is, is secret. It's, it's Soviet. It's, it's scary. It's wrong. And um, as I've said, as I was saying to the uh, officers I was talking to, I don't know anything about the man that the federal government took into custody and is claiming wronged. I don't know if they're even claiming he wronged anybody in particular. They might just be claiming that he violated some of their arbitrary rules. Um, of course, if people do wrong others, if they do hurt others, it makes sense that there is a system that tries to find as much evidence and truth as possible and uh, tries to place judgment where it should be. But unfortunately, uh, this system is not that system. This system is uh, some secretive proceeding behind closed doors. Um, some people will be allowed in if they have like IDs and credentials and they go through security and I saw people taking off their belts like going to rather extreme um, extreme lengths just to see something happen that seems like it should be rather innocuous um, if the federal government is kidnapping people I mean it's less rare it's usually for they claim more severe offensives so of course that does not always mean hurting people um, it could be victimless offenses as well but Oh, um, yeah, it's, so, it's behind so much more of a, a screen. Now, the one thing I... Well, I'm saying all these terrible things about this building. There is one thing that is pretty cool here, and it's that they have a computer system. When you go in there, if, if there's nothing going on otherwise, um, probably when that's a better time to go, because security will be lighter. They're less likely to give you the whole pat down in the areas you don't want them. Um, you can actually go on the computers here and look up the court cases uh, from their files as opposed to having to in other courts where you go and you talk to a clerk behind a desk and they'd have to find it for you and all those ridiculous it's like why should anyone else have to do the labor why can't i just search it now an even better system would be they just put all that stuff out there on the internet public access for free but i don't know it's like people expect or it's there's an expectation that this is not going to work right and they're going to be lazy and and uh secretive and hey who does that benefit it benefits the people in charge it benefits the people running the show the judge um, the prosecutors, I don't think it benefits the defendant, I don't think it benefits the public. And um, the due process is there to preserve the rights of everybody, not just the prosecution or not just the defense. So, I mean, obviously it's not on the side of the defense right now. As you can see, there's so many people out here uh, saying this man has done no wrong. Why is he being held? Um, and it, w it would be nice to learn more of the details of the case from the, the government's position, but I don't even think they've made that public. So, when we come here with cameras and try and learn what's going on, it's... That's treated as though it's something wrong. Why do you have that recording device? Why are you documenting your environment?
I think you told me before, okay, I, I, I film everywhere, but, but not inside, okay? That's, that's one of the rules. Alright. You would you would agree that I'm outside, right? You'd agree that I am outside right now, right? Yeah. Okay. They put pressure on any But we asked you not to film inside, so it's, it's, a, it's a perspective, I guess you'd say, right? So you're I saying that I can it. occupy this space, but I can't face that way and look that way, or? No, you can look that way. You can look up. You can look down. I don't care. Okay. We don't order that. That, that you know. Because I'm in the security inside. That's the deal. Okay, because I'm I know several feet from the building right now, so. the only one. Not my rule, by the way. You can see everything when you go in anyway. Right. Well, I don't know why cameras aren't allowed inside either. Well, that, that really, that's a court deal, and they don't allow cell phones either, because I, I think the. I, I don't think there's any federal court that you can actually go record. Uh, if you remember the uh, trial down in Boston, everything was sketch artists, so it's still really sketch artists, because they don't allow cameras yeah. in there. Yeah, Chelsea Manning trial was all sketch artists. Yeah. So, that's something that should be changed. That's yeah. federal judge. That's something that should be changed. Yeah. Oh, five cameras in that corner. I, 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 I think it should be open. Yeah, I might get involved in it. Especially when it's recording. I'll wear a beard sometime. I'm not a uniform. Yeah. 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 So I guess this is a good compromise. Uh, I am outside right now. I'm, I'm filming in multiple directions. Um, they've told me not to look inside, but it sounds like they're not really going to take any action. They're just going to let me be here. Hopefully nobody will be taking any action. Everything is cool. I'm gonna chill back for a little bit and uh, see if somebody comes out from the official proceedings. I don't know if you just heard that over my shoulder. Somebody asked to help the courtroom's packed and somebody said, oh, it is good. And, um, I got here, as I said, about 10 minutes until the official thing was supposed to start. There were a lot of people outside, so I imagine there were a lot more people um, that also made their way inside before that, because I would think, you know, trying to get in. Um, gee, I'm, I'm glad to see so many people turn out to help defend somebody that they think didn't do anything wrong. Um, again, I have, I've not heard any implications from the feds of 
the feds haven't stated what it is that they think this person has done wrong specifically. I think they've named charges, but none of them sounded like anything specifically with a victim that they would have prosecuted as a crime um, against an individual. Or I don't know if they're claiming like he's hurt some collectively owned property or government property. I have no idea. But um, there's so many folks out and I've noticed that there's uh, some Ron Paul bumper stickers. So those must be older. Um, there are some Ted Cruz and some Donald Trump, and that, that concerns me that there are people that actually think that supporting candidates like that, that really don't care about individuals um, that are being taken on directly by the federal government. Um, you won't hear Ted Cruz and Donald Trump supporting individuals that have had their rights taken away and had their prop, excuse me, property taken away by the federal government. Um, so I don't know why people would expect to find any sort of political salvation continuing to support those people. But anyway, I was hoping to uh, stick around at least long enough to get an update from somebody that was inside about what exactly went on inside, because I'm not, go I would not dare go inside right now, um, considering how much of an issue they took with my recording. Um, that, that's something, even if I don't have a recording device, I don't have the tools that they could use to say I was doing something wrong. I'll, I'll feel very, I feel naked without it. Um, if I don't have a way to document what authorities are potentially going to do to me, I've had it happen before, I don't want to have it happen again, um, where they just grab you and say, disorderly, whatever, just make something up. Um, say they gave you an order they didn't give you and just arrest you like they did with the Chalking 8 case. Um, so uh, hopefully, I don't know how long that thing's, this hearing's going to take. I have no idea what the, the content of the hearing is. I imagine it's a sort of probable cause arraignment sort of hearing. Um, and yeah, maybe an extradition sort of hearing. I don't know if because of this alleged offense happened in the western part of the country that maybe there'll be some movement to move him there. I, I don't know. Uh, so I'm, it's unfortunate. I feel like maybe I was a lazy journalist for going into this with such little information. Um, but yeah, it does seem like there's a lot of people that are very closely connected with it uh, that are probably inside actually observing. And so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill at this bench here. I'm like a little ways away, just document where I am. I'm concerned about going too close to that vehicle because I think the the police canine is in that vehicle. <laughs> And you know how many videos we have of like, we're near a police canine in a vehicle and people are like, you're harassing the dog, get near it. And like, just being near it. That's the thing with police. Why is it that you have to be scared to be near them so often? Oh, that's wet. Um, you have to be scared to be near them so often because everything that they do is, is a potential threat. Like they're telling you that being near their dog is a threat. Like all sorts of stupid, silly things like that. Oh, it looks like here's a dry spot. Somebody may have been sitting.